All righty, ladies and gentlemen, it is Monday. And I know, I know, I was supposed to, you know, have this out a few days ago, but it's fine. Everything is fine. Everything is fine and dandy. We had other stuff to deal with first. So, this afternoon, it's about it's about to be 1 o'clock Central Time. There will be games in about five hours or so. And, well, trade deadline has come and gone. Teams are basically locked in place until the playoffs begin. You know, as far as, you know, their rosters and everything, multiple trades, you know, have happened that are very notable, like Winnipeg getting Tyler Tolofili from New Jersey for a couple draft picks. Carolina, which I saw this past Saturday against the, the New Jersey Devils, of uh, getting Evgeny Kutsov from Washington. Keep in mind, <laughs> some of these names I'm not going to pronounce very well. Um Carolina also got Jake Gutzel from Pittsburgh. Pittsburgh, they got Michael Bunting and a couple of draft picks. Notable from Tampa Bay, they got Anthony D. Claire, very solid player. You know, he's a very solid player. Uh, San Jose, who's basically out of the playoff race at this point, along with teams like Chicago, you know. San Jose got a couple of players as well. So, yeah, what has happened in the NHL since I last talked about it? Well, there was a time when the New York Rangers had a 10-game winning streak. There's also Carter McDavid just, you know, absolutely just going crazy on the amount of assists. He's had, like, an assist every game for, like, the last 20 games or so, which is insane. Uh, Austin Matthews is still Austin Matthews. Nathan McKinnon is still Nathan McKinnon. You know, so basically – the three biggest stars in the NHL are doing their thing. And the points race is still up in the air. We still got some things that need to be determined. Um, you know, it still kind of looks the same a little bit, you know, as far as things go. But there are some teams gaining ground. Um, again, top three in each division go, along with a couple wild cards. So, you know, Florida's still at the top of the Atlantic, but Boston is right behind them. Florida has 92 points, Boston with 91. Most teams, again, have about 15 to 20 games remaining now. So we're getting into the thick of it now with everything. The Rangers still lead the Metropolitan. Um, Carolina is right behind them, still gaining ground. The rest of the division just fighting for playoff spots at this point. Uh, you know, you could argue the Islanders have gotten back into it. Washington's got back into it. Um, you know, Tor- you know, uh, Toronto, Tampa Bay, and even Detroit. You know, very, all interesting teams in their own rights. So, the playoff race is not settled yet in the East, especially because things are gaining ground. It's a lot of teams. You know, you know when you get past. When you get past New York, the Rangers, when you get past Boston and Florida, there's a lot of teams that are fighting with like 74, 75 points in that range, 69 to 70 something points. They're in that range. And those teams are fighting for those last couple playoff spots at this point. <clears throat> um, in the West, Dallas has gained background. There was a time when Dallas lost like three games in a row, you know, and most of those games were in OT. But it's fine. The Stars, they lead the Central, baby. They lead the Central. Winnipeg and Colorado are right behind them. Nashville is, you know, in fourth. And then uh, the Pacific, uh, basically the same. You know, Vancouver, Edmonton, the LA Kings and the Vegas Golden Knights. Uh, right now, you know, there's not much that some of these teams can do. They need to win like three, four games in regulation in order to get back into the playoff race. Like Minnesota, you know, um, last yesterday against Nashville, they needed a win. They pulled their goalie yesterday and still got the win somehow. Uh, but yeah, the the West is a lot more difficult to, you know, really say too much about because there's just not much to say because the eight teams, 
the same eight teams that we talked about a month ago are still at the top of things. And then uh, Matt Rippey has been on a tear. He debuted a few weeks ago, and he's just been on a tear fighting guys, which is very, very funny. Very, very funny. Like He even got his first goal a couple weeks ago, too, um, in a game I watched a couple weeks ago. So the NHL continues to be very intriguing as we continue to move forward into April. We're now in the beginning, sort of middle of March, getting into the thick of things. The playoff race is getting heated up. Again, trades, you know, most trades are now finalized. A lot of teams, you know, we're trading draft picks or, you know, some players away. Um, and i got to tell you, I'm very excited to watch this road go to the finish. I know there's teams like Pittsburgh that are in trouble, you know, that they need to do something. They got they got a trade going, but is that going to solve anything? We'll, we'll find out if that solves anything for the Penguins or will they miss the playoffs again for the first time, you know, you know, you know, but back to back seasons for a while, which is it's been a while since Pittsburgh's missed back to back seasons. So uh, I don't know. Uh, honestly, keep an eye out on the East, the Eastern Conference right now, because that's where all the drama is. The West is looking more set, but there still could be some craziness that happens in the next few weeks or so. But in any case, we have a month left, 15, 20 games left for each team, and everything is going to be all right. You know, we're going to come back to you uh, with NHL talk on the final day of the regular season, or at least the day after, I think. We'll talk about the playoffs again. 16 teams go to the playoffs. Pretty easy, pretty cut and dry. Uh, yeah. Shout out Sergey Bobrovsky, man. man. Man is an absolute unit. Absolute unit. You know. So we'll see if Sidney Crosby and the Penguins can do something. I know that's a big thing that I asked some people about. What are they gonna do? What are the, what are the Penguins going to do again? What are all these teams that are in the thick of the playoff race gonna do? I don't know. We'll find out. Again, we'll find out as soon as we can, you know, as soon as the games tip off tonight and then or out of the puck drops tonight, and then we keep on going all the way until the middle of April for the regular season. So, big boy signing out. I'll see you all uh, either tomorrow, Wednesday, or Thursday with some lacrosse updates. We gotta we gotta talk about the new number one team because uh, it's been like a hot potato with college cross. So, until then, see you later. Take care and. Make sure you watch this weekend indoor football from last night.